that they won't have Ninja Steel stuff and I'm just here because I'm really excited. Hopefully they do, who knows? All right, so. There's no Ninja Steel. And they do have the new Dino Chargers, which are the legendary ones with the little black swords, but there's nothing Ninja Steel related. No! No, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up. They have to have something in these boxes. Maybe one of these boxes has the toys, who knows? Literally everything is Dino Charge, Dino Super Charge. I have all of this, I literally have all of these toys. Most of them at least. The only thing that's new, that's surprising me at least, is the little Dino Charger packs that come with like the legendary Red Rangers and all that stuff. But it's literally just stuff that I already have and... I mean, I'm, I'm a little sad because Ninja Steel stuff is coming out everywhere. Every Toys R Us that I'm seeing online has them. Except mine's, and this is just depressing. So, uh, I do have one one chance of maybe trying to find something Ninja Steel related. Oh look! And they also have the legendary legacy figures that I've been looking for. This is... What's going on over here? I have things that, that I, I want, but... But... I just want Ninja Steel. I want ninjas, not dinos. Alright, so a few weeks ago I was actually looking for legacy figures, so they do have legacy figures. That's cool. I saw In Space Red right now. Here he is. So I got the In Space Rangers. That's cool, at least. I have them. So no Mighty Morphin figures. That's just... They just have to in space. I can deal with this. I can get these guys. Hey guys, Roberto here, and today I sadly didn't find any new Ninja Steel toys. If you guys saw that, if you guys saw that intro, I went to Toys R Us. I looked everywhere. I asked the people if they had anything in the back. Nothing. So this guy's little team is gonna, it's gonna we're gonna have to wait a few more weeks for him to come up. So I didn't find anything in Toys R Us, sadly. So. I'm a little depressed, but I did find some new cool stuff from the Legacy toy line, I guess. And I found the In Space Red Ranger Legacy figure along with the Yellow Ranger. Uh, in this wave, this is actually the second wave for the Legacy figures. And this wave is not, I, I didn't get the complete, the complete wave. Uh, I'm still missing the blue Mighty Morphin Power Ranger, the black and pink. So, uh, I'm not really a huge fan of Mighty Morphin. So, if I don't find these figures, I'm okay with it, I guess. I don't really care about completing the team sometimes when it comes to Mighty Morphin. So, I just, I get lazy. But In Space, I definitely had to have because In Space is actually one of my favorite seasons out there, Power Rangers. Uh, if you guys didn't know, here's a little backstory. When I used to live in Cuba, they used to sell like, these bootleg 12-inch uh, figures. And I remember having the In Space Red Ranger as one of them. And I had him for an entire day. And then like at the end of the day, I think I, I dropped him and his head broke. So I only had that figure for the one day. And it was the most amazing day of my life. Because I used to, I love action figures. I've always loved them as a little kid. So when I got this guy, I was really hyped. And I had him in like this bootleg form. I don't think I think it was I don't think he was a real thing because he was a little kind of bootleggy, but like uh, I remember having him and like he was so cool looking and I remember I would pose him out and all stuff and he just he dropped and he broke his head and I never recovered from that. To this day, you know I I just never it's I've always thought about that figure and I'm like man like I only had that figure for one day one day guys. So uh, yeah so it's really cool I found these in space figures we're gonna open them up. Uh, this review is gonna be a little different from my usual reviews instead of you guys seeing my hands play with the figures and compare them it's me more like a short review since these figures are just two figures and I didn't get the complete wave it's you know it's whatever so uh, here's the box it's the usual legacy figure box nothing new it says Power Rangers on top of here it says build a Megazord right that down here says Power Rangers in space so it shows you the logo of the series this range is from and a really cool picture of the in space Red Ranger the the picture is kind of glitchy looking I don't know if you guys can see it from the camera but uh, in real life, like if you look at it, it kind of like looks kind of glitchy. I don't know. And then it says here in the side, uh, "Legacy Collection Red Ranger." I really wish they put a, they would have put "Legacy Collection in Space Red Ranger," but whatever. And then uh, the bottom here says "Limited Edition." Apparently, these figures aren't gonna be are gonna be very hard to find later on. So if you guys find these figures, like just get them the moment you see them because uh, apparently they're limited edition and like they're not gonna be available for that much time. So it's really cool that I found these guys. On top of here it says Power in Space, the Bandai logo up here, and it's 4 plus, so kids ages 4 and up is, can play with this. And the back is a really cool picture of the build a Megazord for this wave, and it's the In Space uh, Megazord. Uh, when you get all the In Space Rangers, which are coming up later in the year, or next year in 2017, you can complete the In Space Megazord, so here it is. I think it was the Astro Megazord. I, I forgot the name, because I last time I saw In Space was like 2012. But uh, it says build a collect the rangers and build a dino megazord. That's kind of that's an error right there. It's supposed to say the in space megazord or the astro megazord, or whatever. But yeah, at the bottom here it says, it says series two, and then it shows all the other figures in the rest of this wave. And right here to the side is the yellow in space ranger, and then the other three mighty morphin rangers in this wave. 
So I didn't find them, I only saw these guys, so it's kind of weird that, you know, somebody left out the in Space Rangers. Come on, this is like a really good series. And the Yellow Ranger box is the same, just a picture of the Yellow Ranger this time and Yellow Lightning in the background and all that. So, nothing different there. So we're going to open these guys up and yeah, so let's start doing that. Uh, so finally, I, I think that Cuba incident, that thing happened like seven years ago. What, when I, what was it? Yeah, yeah, around like nine years ago when I was in Cuba. So I was around like, what, five, four? So, I finally have another In Space figure. I actually have uh, the, the first version that came out, the little legendary version from the Super Mega Force Wave, but this one sucked. So, this figure looks a lot better, the articulation and everything. I've already done a review of these figures, so you guys know how the articulation goes, but if you guys want to see it, they're very articulated figures. That's what I love about these figures, that they're very articulated. You can make a lot of poses with them. You know, his helmet moves all the way. He does the little movements where you can look up or down. So, it's really cool. He has a little stomach thing. Articulation, I don't know what that is, but it looks really good. So you can do a lot of poses with these figures, that's what I love about them. So and, uh, he comes with uh, the main body piece of the Astro Megazord, and he also comes with uh, one weapon, which is the Astro Blaster? Is that what it was called? Uh, uh, let me see, I, I forgot the name of the weapons, Jesus. You guys, don't, don't quote me on this, but I think it was called the Astro Blaster, but it's very, it's painted very well. These figures, you get a bang for your buck, because you, you get very painted. Very well painted figures. So uh, here's in space Red Ranger. So now let's open up the Yellow Ranger. All right, so let's open up Ashley now. Yellow Ranger. All right, so she comes with the Astro Blaster too. Is, is that the name? You know, I'm gonna get a bunch of in space fans on my comments saying like it's not the Astro Blaster, it's something, something else. But don't quote me, like I said. So she also comes with an Astro Blaster, like I said right now. Uh, what I like, what I dislike about these legacy figures is that they don't come with their weapons. The In Space Rangers actually had individual weapons each, so you can actually make connect to make this big weapon, like this final battle blaster, or whatever. But uh, sadly, uh, the legacy figures aren't doing that. Instead, they just come with pieces of the Megazord, which I'm I'm okay with the whole Megazord build the Megazord thing. It's really cool. But at the same time, I, I sort of wish they came with their individual weapons too, because uh, I remember the Red Ranger of the series, for example, he, this was his weapon, the In Space Red Ranger. And this actually came with the legendary figure from the Super Mega Force Wave. And it's this little drill thingy. And sadly, I don't think the, the legacy figure can hold it, because it's too, it's too thick for his hand. His hand is, like, very small. Actually, he can. That's really cool. He can, guys, but uh, it looks very small in his hand, at least for... I remember it being a lot bigger in the series. I don't know, maybe this is the good size, I don't know. But it looks kind of odd too, because the weapon is painted here and then this one is just all gray or silver or whatever. So yeah. Alright guys, so since this isn't one of my typical reviews, I can't really show you how they look posed. So I'll just show you guys a little bit, of, a little slideshow of how they look together and all that stuff and yeah. Now, if you guys want to know how I rate these figures, they're really good, good looking figures. I actually really enjoy the Legacy line so far. The, the things they're doing, everything doing, the articulation, the paint, the fact that you can build the Megazord with it, it's all amazing. Now, the only thing that bothers me still is just they don't come with their individual weapons. And it's starting to bother me a lot more because we're going to start getting more Rangers that, you know, their main individual weapon looks so cool. For example, the Gold Ranger, his main weapon was the Gold Staff. So, like, if he doesn't have that, hopefully he does have it because the Gold Ranger didn't have that much arsenal. It was just that and that's it. But, uh... Hopefully they do give him a staff, but there's other rangers where they actually like it. They just looked really cool with their individual weapons. For example, this Red Ranger figure right here, if he had come with this thing, like a bigger version that was painted and just looked a lot better, it'd be really cool to have this guy pose with it. But he has his little Astro Blaster. I mean, it's good, but I'm not really like a huge fan of him with his little Astro Blaster. What is he gonna do? What kind of threat? 
And at the same time, in, in space, they also had these little, uh, like, skateboard thingies looking. It wasn't a skateboard, it was like a cyber slider or something like that. I, I'm, I'm lost in space, like, I don't really know the, the arsenal names, but I remember he, they, like, would ride on these little things that you would, it would be like a skateboard, it was, like, in space, and it would just go around, like, this flying around. I really wish they, they came with those, too, but that, that would be a lot more money, and it'd be a bunch of stuff, too, so, yeah. But in the end, for the money they, for the, for how much they cost, like, they're, they're worth it, especially for, like, the height they are, the paint, the articulation, everything. These figures are really cool, and I really can't wait to collect the rest of the In Space team. So yeah guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this little short video. I'm really sorry that I don't have any Ninja Steel stuff on my, my channel yet. I've been trying to look everywhere. My closest Toys R Us, they really don't have anything yet and it's the closest one. I'm not really going to go far away to try to find some Ninja Steel stuff because I don't have a car and, and you know, I, I can't pay for gas. So like, I'm just going to wait a little bit. Usually the Ninja Steel stuff will probably start popping up like in my Toys R Us like around early December or maybe next week in November, which is like the last week of November, hopefully. I've been collecting Pirates toys for almost two years now. Two years, basically. I remember collecting Super when Super Mario Force was coming out. Uh, around it was like around like early December when Super Mario Force I started seeing toys there in my Toys R Us. And then in Dino Charge, it was in November. I remember seeing like late November. I started seeing the Dino Charge Morpher and the Dino Charge Saber, and the Megazord and all that. So you just have to wait a little while. And yeah. And then with Movie Toys too. That's also that'll probably come out the same time as Ninja Steel. So we'll just wait and see. And I'm really happy for Ninja Steel, by the way. I'm, I've been tired of Dino Charge. Dino Charge has been around for two years now. So I think it's time for them to go. And hopefully we get into the little ninjas and the movie toys and all that. And this is actually the, the Japanese figure that came a few came out like back in 2015 when the Ninja was airing. But he, he looks really cool. So I really can't wait to collect the figures from Ninja Steel and the Megazord and the weapons and all that. And yeah, guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed this little video. And this is Roberto from Ranger Mania. Signing out.